Hi everyone! I am back again for another tutorial video. This is Sergi and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to share some tips in formulating your research title. And for my next video tutorial, I will teach you the basic contents your chapter 1 introduction must have. So I recommend you to subscribe in my YouTube channel for you to be updated in my new video tutorial contents. Why is it important to craft carefully your title? The title is without a doubt the part of a paper that is read the most and it is usually read first. The title summarizes the main idea or ideas of your study. Thus, a good title must contain fewest possible words only that adequately describe the contents and or purpose of your research paper. So class, if the title is too long, just like this, a study to investigate the utilization of learning management system in an online class and the result of student performance of the BPA third year students in Davao del Norte State College during the school year 2020-2021 first semester. The title contains too many unnecessary words. So, X. On the other hand, a title which is too short often uses words which are too general. For example, Utilization of Learning Management System. So, the title more seems like a title of a book and it does not provide any information and the focus of our research paper. So, another X. So, what consists a research title? The following parameters can be used to help you formulate a suitable research paper title. First, the purpose of your research. Second, the narrative tone of the paper typically defined by the type of the research. And last is the methods used, either quantitative or qualitative. Note that the initial aim of a title is to capture the reader's attention and to draw his or her attention to the research problem being investigated. Now, let us create a research title. But you know what class? Typically, the final title you submit to your professor is created after the research is complete so that the title accurately captures what was done. So this time, what we will be creating is only a working title. So the working title should be developed early in the research process. Why? Because it can help anchor the focus of the study in much the same way the research problem does. Referring back to the working title can help you reorient yourself back to the main purpose of your study in case you feel yourself drifting off an attention while writing. So, consider this working title so this is too long so what we are going to do is we are going to condense this title by getting the necessary words only so how let's proceed to the next slide now from the too long working title we can have a shortened one or a condensed one so out from the long title that we saw a while ago so what we are going to do is we are going to pick only important words which should form part of our final working title. So the one highlighted with yellow are the important words wherein you think, I think that should be part 
of my title. This could be our working title. Utilization of Learning Management System or LMS and Student Performance in Double the Notice Pay Coverage. In this working title, we have the utilization of learning management system as our independent variable and the student performance as our dependent variable. Note that we omit some words, but that doesn't mean that those words are unnecessary. Those words are not entirely needed to appear in our title, but we can put it in our manuscript, especially in our scope and limitation for emphasis. So do not worry, class. My next session is about the contents to be included in Chapter 1 if you are using a quantitative method. I would like also to share example of a title under qualitative studies. So this is an example. What is life for job order street sweepers in the city governance of Davao region? A phenomenological study. Actually, this is the title of my dissertation research published at the International Journal of Management Excellence. Lastly, I would like to share some several characteristics your title in academic research must have. So you must indicate accurately the subject and the scope of the study. You need to avoid using abbreviations. And you must have to use words that create a positive impression and stimulate reader interest. Also, if it is a quantitative undertaking, you need to identify key variables, both dependent and independent. So, it should somewhat reveal how the paper will be organized and suggest a relationship between variables which supports the major hypothesis. And also, your title must be limited to 10 to 15 substantive words. Do not include study of, analysis of, or similar constructions. Titles are usually in the form of a phrase, but can also be in the form of a question, especially in qualitative research. So use correct grammar and capitalization with all first words and last words capitalized, including the first word of a subtitle. All nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs that appear between the first and last words of the title are also capitalized. That's all for today. I hope you learned something in my discussion. Thank you very much for listening and watching my tutorial videos. Please support me by subscribing and sharing my video tutorials to your friends. If you have suggestions for my next vlog tutorial, do not hesitate to comment down below. God bless you everyone. This is Sergi. Until next time.